The Oakland Raiders had an impressive showing last night from start to finish against the hapless Cardinals. Raiders jumped out to a 26-0 lead in the second quarter. The defense bottled up Kyler Murray, giving up only 12 passing yards and also sacking the rookie twice, including one safety. Derek Carr was 2-for-2 two for, two for 40 yards with a TD in his only series. And overall, Raiders QBs were 21-24. of 24. Carr said he is much more comfortable in year two with John Gruden. Rob, should we actually be optimistic about the Raiders this season? I think we can be <laughs> uh, from this standpoint. I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs and they're going to make a playoff run. But when John Gruden first got here, this was a bad reality TV show with an overpaid star who was the face of the team. And the first thing he did was jettison the two best players that they had on the roster, right? So now you look at it and go, OK, that was bad. Last year was horrendous. And now Derek Carr feels better about what's going on. He delivers, they deliver Antonio Brown. That can only help. And then you saw them last night. I'm not going to make the, the end all be all on the game, but it looked like they were out there having fun. They were playing. So I, I, I think that we probably were way too hard on Chucky in the <laughs> beginning, thinking that it was, uh, that it was uh, like, like all, like it was a joke. The Raiders were a joke last year. That's what people, they laughed about it, right? They got this coach making $100 million. They, 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 they don't know what they're doing. That's what it felt like. They went and hired a GM from television, you know, and all this stuff who had never done the job. I, I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs, but I do feel better that the Raiders have some better players and can play. Some Jennings, he called it a joke. Uh, this team is a joke because John Gruden tries in the preseason. Let me give you a number before you go. John Gruden now 16, 8, and 2 against the spread in the preseason. He tries hard. Did He's you bet that game last guy. night? I'm not going to reveal that answer. Go ahead, Greg Jennings. Don't tell me you're falling for this preseason rope a dope. I'm not falling for Thank the preseason rope a dope, but I am optimistic oh. about the Raiders. Yes. Oh, I am. I'm with Rob on this one. When I look at all, all that's in front of them, uh, when I look at their quarterback, let's start there. Derek Carr had one of his better seasons of his career, with the exception of his touchdowns being down at 19 last year. But his completion percentage, 68%, almost 69%. Uh, his passer rating, 93. He threw for over 4,000 yards. Like, there were some really bright moments in a dim, dim organization for Derek Carr. And to add now to his arsenal, uh, Antonio Brown, arguably one of the best receivers in the in, in NFL, to your roster, to give to your young quarterback, he can only improve. And then when I watch them, uh, when I watch them, even throughout Hard Knocks, the one thing I will say about John Gruden is he's going to challenge every single player on that roster, which is why, like, we, I questioned a lot of his moves last year. And now that I'm seeing what he's done, I I'm starting to understand why, his why. When you have guys who aren't your guys that you bring in, you're going to have to, you're going to buck, they're going to buck the system regardless because they're not your guys. You didn't bring them in. So it's kind of, it's not like college where you have a short stint, a window, and then they're gone. They're no longer yours. They're out of the equation. You have to bring in guys that you know are going to be locked in and understand what we're trying to do and in agreement with what you're trying to do, invest it from day one. And that's what he has right now. We talk about their defense. Their defense last year ranked ninth in pass defense. They're going to be 19th, I'm sorry, in pass defense. They're going to be better. They're improving in all areas defensively and to in takeaways specifically. They were tied for 26 in takeaways. Rush defense, they were 30th. They were just a bad defense. I like the direction that he's taking this Oakland Raiders team, specifically on the offensive side of the ball, because that's what he's known for. But he has a quarterback that can get the job done in year two. I think he has his wide receiver. We have yet to see him, but we know what he's capable of doing. Stop it. We know what he's capable of. His, re his track record it, it stands for itself. What, we look, touchdowns what we've 15 seen games, in the past yes. we are, is our ex expectation of the future for a guy like Antonio Brown. All right. Okay. And, and the other thing, too, is John Gruden has something to prove. I mean, he really does. Those last years in Tampa Bay weren't good. And, and let, me, let me say this. Like, their, their, their schedule 
to start oh. is not a is not a hard. I mean, I'm sorry, is not an easy road. Like they have some challenging to get uh, opponents the right out schedule in the NFL. Right out the gate, you got uh, Monday Night Football against the Broncos, which I think they're going to take that game. They better. Win you that got one. Kansas City. You're not going to beat Kansas City. Shred it. You got the Vikings. That game you can potentially win. I'm not sure about that one. Colts. And then you got the Bears. You got Khalil Mack coming in before your bye week. That's going to be impressive. I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah, this is um, this is tough, guys. I didn't know Skip and Shannon had such a rabid Raiders following because I've been, you know, coming after Antonio Brown, just spitting the facts earlier this week. And uh, my mentions are just uh, so much anger from Raiders fans. I didn't know that Raiders fans really existed. It's not it's just. Been it's been such a dormant franchise for years, okay? I don't even know where to begin with this team and how bad they're going to be. Um, when you talk about, you questioned some of the moves last year of John Gruden, Greg, you're not questioning the moves this year? I mean, uh, overpaying Trent uh, Brown, the kid, the left tackle from the Patriots. He had one good year, and now you give him big, big left tackle money. You know, pay Antonio Brown, uh, you know, he, the Steelers were willing to give him away for what, Stop a third-round pick? Stop then, it. then, you look at Vontez Perfect. Richie Incognito, these ain't choir boys you're getting in the locker room. Are you, are you, starting, a choir, are you starting a choir or a football team? I mean, they're trying to clean I'm up the culture. You. Mike Mayock, the guy you talked about they pulled out of the TV booth, he's trying to clean up the culture there. Are and you're bringing in uh, that, 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 perfect and incognito. 22 free agents they brought in. This team is a disaster waiting to happen this year. That schedule, <laughs> dude, they go like six weeks without playing a home game. They have four back-to-back -back road games, most in the NFL. They travel the most miles this year. They have the toughest schedule. I mean, I'm loath to use the word bloodbath, but the Raiders are in trouble this year. When you look at the schedule, guys don't, don't look at the schedule and say, oh, man, we got to travel across the country back-to-back. -back. Man, we're going to be shot. That's not how it works. No one thinks it's a about game that. in front of you. This You're is, not looking at that. Yes. Oh, of course and not. You, no. you talk about the guys that he's brought on, Vontez Burfi, Richie Incognito. Are you watching Hard Knocks? Are you? The one thing I will say about John Gruden, he's gonna say he might put on a little bit, but what he says has some substance to it. He wants nightmares, guys. <laughs> I want teams to. I want teams to have nightmares. When you have Vontez, when you add a guy like right. Vontez Burfi, you better believe every receiver will be accounting for, where's 55? Where's 55? Where is he? Nightmare. He's because probably he gives writing you, a check to the league office for a dirty hit. But you have you bring on like players like that, that that understand they're on a short leash, but I'm going to give you an opportunity to do it the right way, but toe the line while you're doing it. I still want you to bring that bite that you've always had. I like the Raiders. I'm not saying they're a playoff team. Give me a win total. Give me a win total. I'm not going to give you a win total, but I'm optimistic. Are they a playoff team? We said no. We, their division, in and of itself, they got two Super Bowl contenders. It's just, right. it's, it's gonna be tough. So and what are we, we just optimistic heard, about? We just well, heard but, but last year say, was such a disaster. Don't would you admit that was last year a disaster? A hundred percent. Okay, so we're optimistic. It's not going to be a repeat of a disaster. Mm. They could win five or six games. I'll say six <laughs> games. Five I'll, or six I'll, games I'll would be a them, disaster. I'll give them seven. I'll give them okay. seven I'll games. I'll say six. They went four and twelve last year. They I, they could have won a couple other games. You know, they, you do have the schedule in front. I kind of want to put them on the spot and say, find me seven wins on there. You're not, not going to schedule. Greg, I'm telling you, schedule this team. is the a number, very difficult I'll show you. I'll, get, I'll guarantee you a uh, look, win. Okay. Let me add this. Let me add Against uh, the Jets. Jets. Of course. Yeah, I knew oh, he was going to do that. that. I knew he was going there oh, first. Wow. I do want to add, there is a clause in Carr's contract where they can get out of it after this season. Okay? This is a big pivotal year for the Gruden-Carr relationship. You gave some numbers last year on his completion percentage. Eh, he was Charlie checked down because he had no receivers to stretch the field. He was hitting the tight end. He was hitting the running backs. It wasn't a very good season if you look at the full advanced stats on Derek Carr. Well, 19 touchdowns won't be, you know. 19, I mean, I get it. you know, Sam Darnold threw we that in his sleep. Uh, at any rate, I think you're overrating the Raiders. Just a tad. No, not at all. I, I'm, I'm not overrating the Raiders. The question is, am I optimistic? I am. And was I hard on John Gruden initially? Of course, because we saw him get rid of Khalil Mack, and we saw what he produced and what he provided for a Chicago Bears organization. And then an Amari Cooper, he got rid of him, and we saw what he produced when he went to Dallas. When he went to Dallas. So there it leaves room for questioning, what are you doing? But then you start to watch the pieces that he inserts. Yet, sometimes you do have to overpay. 
So the Brown signing, maybe he did overpay. You know what I call but it? I, understand. I call it the bad team tax. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> I like protect. That. I gotta protect my most valued asset, which is that man he's talking to right behind you, Derek Carr. If he doesn't protect him, this doesn't even get off the ground. So it starts right there, and I think they have developed the rapport. And you, we hear Derek Carr talk about it often now. He understands why, why all the language, why the necessary verbiage in, in the play calls and what we're trying to get done. So I think he's going to progress even more. He is so optimistic, right? I am optimistic. Generational talent, Kyler Murray, likes the Raiders. We got we to gotta talk to the producers and find something or a team you don't like, Greg. The Jets, just because of you. No, he went there. Well, guys, did we see the real Kyler Murray last night? Bucky Brooks joins us next to discuss Kyler's Bucky! Don't bring those pom-poms out here. That's next.